This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one-day reading for June 18th, 2024. It's currently May 19th, 2024, 5.06 p.m. Eastern Time. SPY at the time of this reading is $529.45, that's USD. The shuffle video for the June 18th reading was created on May 2nd, 2024 at 11.24 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a video playing in the lower left corner. The overall theme of behavior for SPY on the 18th, we have, so the success card normally indicates successfully transitioning from a resistance into support, so turning resistance into support level successfully. However, it's a nullified success card indicating that that actually isn't the case, so it probably does it momentarily, and then we lose that support. Behavior around the high side, we have an attempt to establish support with some sideways rotation along a, a key support level near the high, and behavior around the lowest low, we have a decline to and through support to meet another support. We bounce along that support, and then we break down through more supports afterwards into the low. I'm advised to trade around a period of volatility with a sharp drop that stands out in that period of volatility. Now, before we get into the hour by hour chart behavior as well as finding the highs and the lows and the best trade opportunities i just want to make sure everybody's aware the whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill we do that by following the rule of karma for the channel you go to the resources tab of our website tarot for traders and five percent of the profits from every profitable trade utilizing this information should be donated forward to one of these charities or pick a charity of your choosing as long as you're paying five percent forward and then five percent should be sent back to the channel through one of these links if you're international you can use wise or you can use youtube tips and that leaves you at 90%. Make sure to spend that 90% out of love. As long as you follow those rules, you follow the rule of karma for the channel, the universe considers you an angel investor. It's going to send it back to you tenfold for following through. Blessings to all my angel investors. Let's get back into it. In the pre-market, we have a high. This is a cross-reading congruency. Where we have this nullified ruin card on the 17th, and then it appears here in the high correlation position here. Likely a high here in the pre-market. We open higher, and we decline through multiple supports. Right around the open, there's a there's a near overbought crest that we sell off from through multiple support levels. And then and then in the first half hour, there's a period of volatility that ends with a fast sudden new higher. Between roughly 10 and 11, between roughly 10 and 11, there's a trough, probably closer to 11 than 10. Um, throughout the 10, 10 to 11 o'clock hour, roughly, we have bumping along resistance sideways. We may break through and then bump along another resistance sideways if possible. But the overall behavior there should be bumping along resistance sideways into a, and that eventually will take us into a high somewhere between 11 and 12. The Princess of Swords in the 11 to 12 o'clock position indicates that there's an important resistance level from which we'll fall, and then we'll return back to that resistance level. It usually uh, offers a pretty significant trade opportunity because you can use that resistance as an entry and an exit level. Um, so keep, a, keep an eye out for that. And then right around the 12 o'clock hour, there's a pretty significant move to, to a day's high. Uh, it looks like we may actually return to that resistance either at the end of the, this Princess of Swords resistance, which I think it's probably we break out through it momentarily there around 12 o'clock. But um, that resistance is probably returned to at the end, like either at the end of the day or more likely overnight, like in the following day. But we have this, this bumping along resistance sideways between noon and one o'clock. Matter of fact, it's bumping along resistance sideways between 11 and 12. Big move with a fake false breakout around 12 o'clock and then more sideways rotation near that high. The high is somewhere there between 11 and one o'clock, probably closer to 12. We have an important resistance level highlighted between one and two. It's a resistance that we failed to break through many times before. There's also a trough right around one o'clock. And then in an even lower trough, it looks like around 2.15ish. Between two and, and three, there's a, an overbought crest that we sell off from through multiple support levels and a pretty notable low, the day's low, and a pretty notable bottom in the last hour of trading. Um, right around the close, we have a, a notable move higher and then a full retracement of that move back down with some volatility in the post market. Yeah, so what I would look to do here is when we have that breakout, that false breakout around 12 o'clock through key resistance, it may be the resistance that we fall, that we fall from in the, in the pre-market, um, but that resistance, we will have like a false breakout around 12 o'clock and I would look for, I would look to open up a short position there in the midst of that false breakout for a day trade. You could close that day trade, that short position, probably just after two o'clock, around 2.15 at a at a low, a day's low thus far. Yeah, pretty significant low there. It could, it's possible there's another lowest low here. It's not as probable as what we saw at the beginning of the month, but there is a possibility of a lowest low here. Yeah, it looks like you probably want to close that short position for a day trade. Um, and then when you close the short position for a day trade, you can open up a long position for an over an overnight swing trade. Uh, right there around 2.15, open up the long. Looks like you could close along at the end of the day on the 20th. Either that or you can close it here around like 10 to 11. We'll get into that in more detail when we do the reading for the 20th. And that's SPY for June 18, 2024. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. As always, make sure to follow that rule of karma. We're counting on you here at Terror for Traders. Blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the Discord channel. Everybody else, I'll see you on the next one.